Hello everyone, you are welcome to another segment of our class. So we are going to continue from the examples we have been taking under volumetric calculations. So with me here, I have two examples to uh, continue with. So this is example five, which says that the density of solution containing 73.5 grams of sodium per cubic decimeters of solution is 0 0.210 grams per meter cube. So calculate the percentage concentration. So it is very simple and straightforward. So the only thing you need to do is to bring out uh, the parameters. So uh, 73.5 grams per dm cube. We now say that is the uh, mass concentration so we have mass concentration of uh, solution which is equals to we have 73.5 uh, grams per uh, dm cube okay so after that you get to realize that the density of the solution given is uh, density of solution is equals to 0 0.210 uh, grams per meter cube. So we cannot calculate the percentage concentration with the density uh, in 0 0.210 grams per meter cube here. So we have to convert our density unit to be in line with this. Is that understood? So, to do that, remember in our previous uh, lessons we said if you are converting CM cube to DM cube, you just have to divide by 1000. So, you divide that quantity given in CM cube by 1000 and then you get your answer in DM cube. Okay? So, but if you are converting uh, meter cube, to dm cube you just have to convert by multiplying by 1000 so that is very simple so what we are going to do now is we say okay 0 0.210 times 1000 so which uh, we are going to have uh, 210 grams per D and cube. So this is our new density. So the new density we have acquired here, the unit is the same as the mass concentration of the solution. So in order to calculate the percentage uh, concentration, so percentage concentration is now going to be equals to the mass concentration of solution divided by the density of the solution. So we have a mass concentration of solution divided by density of solution. Then we multiply by 100 over 1. So definitely this is now going to be uh, the mass concentration of solution which is 73.5 divided by 210 times 100 over 1 so which we are going to have 35% uh, as our final answer so that is how to calculate the percentage concentration very simple and easy so you can have your time go through on and on again and you get to realize how simple it is all right that brings us to example number six example number six says that what volume of distilled water should be added to 400 mil which is the same thing as saying 400 cm cube it's still the same thing uh to 400 cm cube or mil milliliters of 2.0 molar uh, tetraxosulfate 6 acid 
to obtain new concentration of 0 0.20 molar of the acid solution. So, this question is very simple. So, what we do is we make use of the serial dilution formula. So, we now say that, okay, using uh, C1, V1 is equals to C2, V2. So, you can just go ahead and start calculating using this formula. You must know what V1 is, what C1 is, what C2 is, and the rest, okay? So, in this case, since we have 400 ml here, we now say, okay, V1 is our 400 ml. Then our C1, which is the concentration of the solution stock, which is 2.0 molar of sulfuric acid. Then our C2 is the new concentration, which is 0 0.20 molar. And then V2 is what we are calculating for. We don't know. So by the time you uh, prepare the solution, you must know the volume of distilled water you have added. So that is what we want to calculate. So when we substitute into this formula by making V2 to be the subject of the formula here, we have C1, V1 all over C2. So in this case, we have uh, 2.0 times our V1 is 400, okay, divide by C2, which is 0 0.2, uh, as the case may be here. So this implies that V2 is equals to uh, 800, okay, divide by 0 0.20. So this gives us uh, 4,000 uh, ml. So this 4,000 ml that we have here is not the volume of distilled water is the volume of the solution i remember the solution contains the volume of the solution contains the volume of the concentrated uh, acid and the volume of distilled water so for you to know the volume of distilled water you have to subtract the volume of the uh, acid that was there from the volume of the solution to know the volume of distilled water that must be added so to do that we now say that, okay, uh, volume of distilled water to be added is equals to uh, V2 minus V1, okay? So, which is equals to 4,000 minus 400 here. Are we together? So, this is now going to give us uh, 3,000. 600 uh, ml okay so that is the uh, final volume of the DC water that must be added in order to get this very particular concentration of 0 0.20 molar solution so I hope this helps so thank you very much